What's up guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just recording this video to see if, it, if it'll get views. Just just so you know, because apparently if you put famous people's faces on your YouTube thumbnail and, and you name it after them, you get like a bit more views, right? And I uh, just want to try that out, you know? Maybe maybe this video will get like 2 billion views. It might work, it might not, you know? You never know until you try. Anyway, the topic of this video is that first man, Chris, deleted his videos, right? The founder of First Man, he says he's not First Man, so let's respect his decision, his, his identity, he's not, he stopped identifying as First Man, he is now identifying as Chris, so, you know, congratulations, man, on the identity change, you know, you went from one man to, like, I don't know, there's a joke there, fuck it, I'm, I'm shit, whatever, you get the joke, right, so he deleted all of his videos, if you go to his channel, I'll show you this, um, if you scroll down, right, it's three months, his last video is from, uh, four months ago, and by the way, I'm recording this video, it's like 5 a.m., I don't care, I'm such an authentic YouTuber, I stay, oh, that's my new poster, you like it, I stay up till 5 a.m., and I film it, and I'm in a shitty room, Right, it's fucking how more authentic you can get. You can see my eye bags, no makeup. Right, anyway, he deleted his videos, right? And I'm gonna explain why he deleted his videos, and it's gonna make sense. So, he talks about some reasons. I, he hasn't publicly talked about it, but I know exactly why. Because, first of all, he did like a TikTok thing. Chris did a TikTok thing where he did like some kind of affiliate marketing. He was gonna famous on TikTok. And the, the problem he faced with TikTok was that his content was reaching like the crowd he did not want. He talk he talks about this one story where he was just going taking his mom out for like her birthday, and then some guys you know that know him from TikTok because apparently TikTok is like local, so you get famous locally. Just saw him like they were in a car, they stopped the car, they like honked and it was like, "Yo, you're the TikTok guy with massive balls." And <laughs> Her mom was like, whoa, what's going on, Chris? You know, that, and then secondly, like, Chris's old videos, he just talked in a bro way. Which, if you don't know what a bro way is, it's basically, well, you know, when with your bros, you just talk a, like, very unfiltered way, you know? So, you know, you, you, you let your true um, feelings and opinions about some certain things out into the world. And you know it's gonna be um, confidential, right? The the bro code, right? It's not gonna get out now. His stuff is on YouTube, right? And he he, so he says some controversial stuff. Now, is it maybe it's the way he says it, right? Like there's a way of saying it. Oh, I don't think my lady should work because you know a delicate flower like her shouldn't work when a man like me can provide for some like that. You know, I don't want a pretty little hands to get dirty. Or you could just say like some like in a misogynistic way which I won't say because uh, I don't know I'm a good people but you know you could say women shouldn't work this this is this, this or you could say like that right so like you know and the way he said it was like a bro way it wasn't like kinda oh how what if people clip this right so he does not want that secondly he wants to go in a different direction with his brand because let's face it if you're on YouTube watching like especially this video why the fuck are you watching this video bro like there's literally like people fucking skydiving in an ape costume probably. That's a lot more entertaining. Like I'm not even that handsome looking. Now, obviously I'm the most handsome guy on earth, but you know, that that well, fuck it. Yeah, I'm really handsome. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, like <laughs> obviously people who watch this content are like fifth, thirteen year olds, fifteen year olds, and they just don't get it. This content is a bit more adult, and ever since like Chris released his course. He's just been make um he he released like a course and he's just um targeting more towards an adult audience. Imagine like you talk about it's like oh guys in Marbella there's amazing cafe where you can go and it's like really cultured and then some fucking kid from I always say India let's say another country kid from um what country could it Kid from Ireland, all right, thirteen-year-old kid from Ireland. Like, hey, Chris, how how can I talk to girls? You're like, what, what the fuck, man? It's not the channel for it. You just go up, you know. Even me, like, don't don't. People ask me about girl advice, like, don't ask me, man. Just the the way I do it is just be a good man, and then women just come to you in a way, or you just get more confident. I've just been seeing this happening where I just don't do anything, and then I get like girls. Instagrams, they just give it to me, kind of. I just go about my day. I was like, well, when the fuck did that happen? 
but you know it just happens I just improve on keep on working on myself it's the confidence thing so th th his audience is changing and he just doesn't want to be like a youtuber and fair enough you know imagine if he says in this Rob Lipset podcast talks about like when he introduced himself imagine if he said oh I make like uh, alpha male YouTube videos and I sell supplements yeah not, not you know if you with a girl he goes like oh no it's a bit icky and if she has an Essex accent then that's even fucking worse <laughs> worst accent on earth who the fuck invented the Essex accent like imagine you be imagine you're from Essex and you like you you can't change your accent you're like fuck it I'm stuck with these fucking people who sound like you're stuck with those people I can't change your accent right imagine if if Albert Einstein was from Essex and you know he was talking about fucking theory of relati relativity he invented time travel but he had an Essex accent no one would fucking take him seriously you can be like Stephen Hawking and people would think you're you're like a 40 IQ moron if you're with an Essex accent all right. Um, I don't know how, the, uh, how this video got to that, but fucking hell, it's the worst accent on earth. Worse than, like, the fucking shitty American accents, alright? The fucking LA accent with the, you know, the, what is it, the voice dry fucking, what is it, rasp? Not rasp, vocal fry, okay, the, the LA girl with the vocal fry, uh, like, the way she speaks is like, um, it feels like, ice cream on the ears compared to SX accent okay SX accent on your ears feels like I'd say dragging your balls on shattered glass but like that's too unoriginal but I can't think of anything else uh, what was this yeah this video was about Chris anyway kind of an off tangent topic but yeah he just he's just pivoting man he's just doing his shit he has his 1M house which people say it's a scam people say oh it's not working this this is that but um like it's it's just it's just business, man. Obviously, yes, some things may not work, but being a businessman and stuff is just all about fixing problems. Is it gonna have problems? Of course, it's gonna have problems. And you know, some people like, oh, it's a shit thing and that, but that comes with business. Like you're gonna have problems with it. You're not gonna do everything right the correct way, but it is what it is. So Chris just doesn't want to be involved in the alpha male space. That's why, like the YouTube manosphere thing. That's why he um play this content now his content was really good it got me through a lot of bad times when I was like 20 when I, when I was uni my first second year my first year I was such a loser then my second year I discovered Hamza and uh, Chris and it just like took up my level it just like oh so this is as a man is what I'm supposed to be like I'm not supposed to be cause my influence for what a man should be like was like H3 H3 and I-dubs <laughs> growing up I'm like well hmm hmm wouldn't want to be like those guys and then on YouTube you know did like I got exposed to masculine content I guess you could say that and um, it just exposed me and just taught me the idea of like what a man should be what I mean I when you what actually let me go on an off tangent again when you start watching these like kind of masculine content I don't know what to call it you kind of like take it all in but you you, you can't filter it because you're stupid or you just don't know the way so I just took it all in and then I've kind of like filtered it in my own way where you know I took some of the truths that matched with my personality and who I am and I just left some of the stuff out um but yeah um so it really helped me out I remember just walking around just listening to his videos I remember like when I was um on Christmas day I was in Ramley Box Park I was tasked with um, like rearranging some tables and whatnot, and just I was walking back home, and my phone was like phone, my phone died. It's not important, but I was just listening to his videos and stuff. I was um, I was washing the dishes, but I always had like an ear earbud on me, listening to Chris's advice and stuff. It, was, it really like changed my mindset. So I'm really grateful for those videos, which is kind of a sad thing, knowing that um, guys just will not have that content anymore, which I think is like really necessary so maybe I should do I should do those videos because his videos has really fucking good advice man and but you know Chris has a course so um it's like 14 quid it's free all right I've, I've watched his videos they're pretty good and it, they've been helpful like they're fucking amazing man honestly um yeah so it is what it is it's gone but you know nothing good in life lasts so just get used to it man just get used to it, enjoy things while they're there, and it is what it is. So, that's, that's my two cents. 
So the, let's let's say my average video of mine gets 50 views, right? So this I, I predict this might get it's gonna get even worse. It's gonna get like fucking 20 views. How about that? <laughs> but uh, yeah. And I'll chat to you next time, which I will not chat to you because this is a YouTube video. But I do have a Discord, so join my Discord if you want to chat to me. Like I'm pretty open. You can just DM me or Instagram, which I have it blocked on my phone, but. You know, try it. Try your chances. You know, why not? Knock on multiple doors. But yeah, that's it. That's the whole video. And I'll, 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 I'll see you in the next one. Brofish. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brofisted in what, 2024. God damn. Who, like, the, the, the new generation doesn't even know what a brofist. You know what? I've never watched a PewDiePie video in my life, so I don't know either. But yeah.